All right, anyway. Game one. Going to Battlefield, and he didn't go Charizard. All right, you know what? We're going to let it slide for now. I mean, obviously Charizard has bad landing options against his character, but Charizard has a lot of tools to deal with Cloud. I'm so surprised he didn't do it at least first. Someone's got to tell me. Sorry, bro. Go. Go wrap. More and more up airs coming out. Oh my god. Gets eats that cross slash. Runs right into it. Fair. Oh, yep, once again. Blade Beam is a bad move. Don't don't trust people when they tell you that Limit Blade Beam is a good option. It's not. Because even though he didn't get directly punished, it did lead to his death. Because he lost Limit for absolute free. Up till, up till. Oh, stalls his jab. I don't think he wanted to jab to begin with. He might have gone for forward tilt or something. So Because the jabs came out super late. I don't know if he was trying to go for a mix up or a jab grab, which. Long time coming as Cloud. Uh oh. Um. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna refresh the stream for you guys. There we go. We're back. Hashtag up air. Oh, that downer just landing on the platform, getting that nice tech. But disadvantage against Cloud with limit. Yeah, this is definitely something that boxes dread. But oh, he's down on stage. Oh my God! Crosses him up and then cross slashes him. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, that is going to be the end of that game. And now, in this best of five set, Beast now has the option of swapping his Zard or sticking out with Fox. He's going to stick it out with Fox and run right back? No, we're going to go to Town City as a counter pick. All right, I like the idea. Battlefield was definitely working, though. He just, it was, it was literally one hit either way. It spams lasers. Dash attack. Up tilt. Oh my god, so many up tilts coming out from Cloud. Definitely a move that functions a lot better against fast fallers than a lot of other characters. Because you don't see a Cloud's up tilt up that much anymore. But yeah, a great advantage here for Zachary, aka bad things. Oh, uh, you see? You see what I mean? I, I think that that one might have been a, an accidental limit cancel, but I don't know. That, that seems like something that he seems to do a lot. And I, I can't tell if it's an accident anymore. Dash attack. Oh, covering his landing options, covering his air dodge. Oh, no. Poor Zach giving up his lead. He definitely wanted the ledge right there. Oh, no. But now we're dead even here. Oh, what a sick pivot grab. Oh, my God, he might die. Nope. Did, did not get back here off the platform. Uh, much to beast dismay. But, yeah, that, that might have been the sickest pivot grab I've ever seen in my life. Or one of the sickest. For the very least, take us today. I was watching the choo choo choo. Up air. Oh, nice tech. Oh! Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Someone's gotta tell him to go Zard because they can't leave the table. <laughs> Why does Pax suck? <laughs> God damn it. Just, I just saw that. Yo, what's up, Uno? It's good, man. What's going on, stream? All right, so All right. game three. We're actually not gonna see Beast go Zard. That, that's definitely like one of those like niche cloud counter picks, yeah. Charizard. But we're not gonna see him do that like at all. Right. He's, he's gonna stick it out with a fox. And he was doing really well every game, but ended up getting cross slashed at a relatively lower percent for a normal weight character. But yes. fox being light, so exactly. it's not. So now what we see here is um, the counter pick to Town and City. Now I, I like how Fox can utilize platforms on this stage. Uh, Foxes do love this stage. Oh, oh, they do, absolutely. So we're gonna see how it plays out here. I know, I know the last game was on Town and City, and it was like relatively close. It was like very close. Yeah. But I, I don't know. Beast just seems like even though he has a percent lead right now, it just seems he doesn't have the momentum advantage. You know what right. I mean? It feels like. It feels like even though he has a percent lead, uh, Zach is still just in control. Yes, yes. It's very, oh, accidental side B right there. 
playing very uh, on point to that. Yeah, not going for that smash a little bit too early. That back air barely with it. Wow. There nice we go. confirmed by Beast. That's going to uh, clean up the first stock. This is the first time he's taken the stock first the uh, whole time, I think. So now we now we can see if Zach uh, is just going to just fight back and take the stock. And wow, he is nice down smash. with the You're amazing shield up. pressure. <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic shield that pressure. That was actually fantastic. That was. Yeah, forcing wow. Beast to just try to go for a grab and just not in the range. All right. And Good yeah. jab to uh, catch the neutral get up. Yeah. I noticed that, like, like literally in the middle of his winter semi set against Bach, he, he became infinitely more patient. Yeah. But it seems that the patient is either worn off or cloud. He's just going convert. in with these up airs. Dude. Oh. Dude. Dude. Somebody clipped that. He got touched at zero. Somebody in the chat, please. He got hit at zero percent and lost his entire sock. 